Hey, hey, man, we got an easy go with the Kawasaki engine in it, 400 cc. We're cleaning the carburetor here. Um, oh, son, the way you working for them, we gotta talk step by step. You gotta ignore it. It's the first time, man. I made a video on this before, and everybody keeps commenting about the camera phones. That why you record a video with a phone? Well, you fire the cameraman. Let me see you do this with one, with one person. Record a video, holding your hand. Use a wrench with your left hand. Let me see how it comes out. Then we'll talk. All right, man. No bullshit. Let's get to the video. All right, man, first thing you do, like my son's already did, because he couldn't wait about three seconds, um, take the hose clamp off, flathead screwdriver, take that off. All right, what's next, Jerry? These two bolts here, after this get taken off. What, what, what size bolts, where they go? What you want to do next, pull your vent, your ventilation hose off. The bolts holding the carburetor on, the tins, you take them ten, off. 10 millimeter, he means. Let me phrase that. The one socket that always gets missing. Man, I seen this guy uh, was on side of the road and he he died. He was trying to find a ten millimeter socket. He died in his toolbox. <laughs> Try, trying to find a ten millimeter socket. But if you don't need it, it'll be there. And couldn't find out. Guess what it was? It was inside his water pump. He dropped the last time he put a water pump on. Then you loosen this. The negative. All right. What you want to do now? This, you can. this is your choke plate gasket. This is your choke plate. What you do? Pull it up. Take this here. If you look at this here, it's slotted. Take it, pull the choke, pull the choke cable around like that, and then, and then pull it out the slot. Just like that, you pull it out the slot. I mean, a lot of people do this here. But I just, I just bypass that step because it's less moving pieces, less pieces you got to put back together. All right. Then what you want to do is normally this here is locked on. So what you want to do is take this. Good job, son. Take, take your screwdriver, put it right there, and, and twist the screwdriver, then pull. Hold on, take, take the screwdriver, and you need to push with the screwdriver. Jason's problem. Like that. All right, then you take it and pull up on it. All right, and just like that, you, you got the throttle cable off. Next, you want to get this uh, the fuel line cable off. I would do it, pull, pull it out first. What I do, he does it that way. What I do, I take it and pull the carburetor out. That way, it's easier to take it off. Cause sometimes the paint, if down there where he's doing it, this paint will make sure they can see it now. Then take you it. Hold on. The next thing you want to do is I'm not going to turn the video because I got something holding it. Turn the gas line off. This car has got a fuel shut off between the fuel pump and the fuel tank. I just turn it off so it don't leak gas. And then put you a uh, gas, put you a blanket down there or a box or something. This'll do, I can cut it by hand. Ow. Don't let anyone else do it for you because you're gonna get stabbed. All right, the best thing to do is take it, twist it, twist the hose, hold the carburetor, twist the hose. That's what are you doing? You're twisting, all right? No, it's not twisting. <laughs> this happens when they have not been removed for a long time. That's good. That means that means easy goes dependable. All right, what you're gonna do is take this here, hold the carburetor, and just spin the hose, break it loose. All right. Mm, I already smell the gas coming from it. Pull down. Pull down. Pull them down as you twist. Damn. There you go. All right, now a lot of people mess up on this next step. I'm holding the line. What you want to do on the bottom of this here, right around wrench, 12 millimeter. All right. Like this here. Break the bolt loose on the bottom of the carburetor. Hold it straight up when you break it loose. All right. Now you break it loose. Now it's loose. Take your finger, unscrew it, do it fast. Put your finger over the hole. Twist the bolt or break the bolt loose. That way when you take it off, 
you'll be able to see if any trash is in the carburetor. You can see we got some floating pieces in there. <clears throat> but uh, if you don't, if you don't cover the hole, guess what happens? The gas runs out, so by the time you're able to get it off here and look in the bowl, you can't see what's in there because it's already fell in the rag and you can't see. So I always make sure here. We, we saw a little bit of trash in here. It's what we're going to do now. Clean that out. Clean the bowl out. Not the rag. And if you look at this, this is your needle. It's just a normal rag. They're over there. They're clean. I'm sure they can clean. Yeah, but they'll probably be like, do we use cloth to clean it? No, in the rag, if, if, the bowl, if the carburetor bowl is full of junk, use some carburetor cleaner. If it ain't, just take a rag and wipe it down. Now, if you look at this, this is your float here. This is your main jet, which is also a high speed jet. Up here on the top, this is your low speed jet. So if you have a problem with it hard to crank, take <laughs> take this take this out and clean this. All right, give me a flip screwdriver. If you have a problem with it flooding or something like flooding or running too rich, not getting enough gas, then clean this out. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the float out. If you look on this, uh, the float pin, it's got a slot on one end around the other side. You want to tap it out toward the slot side. So let's tap it out. Tap it. Take a pair of pliers, preferably needle nose, but pull that out. Make sure I stay in the middle of the picture zone. Put in the middle here. Yeah. All right, I dropped the needle. Pick the needle up, Jerry. Like I said, there's your top, there, there, there's your high speed jet there. Make sure you don't lose this. Or your main jet, and there's your needle. But let me warn y'all, man. If you get a Chinese carburetor for $20 off Amazon, don't do it, man, because you see how the, the OEM factory carburetor has a rubber needle which actually seals against the metal in the hole here. Uh, the, the Chinese carburetors come with a piece oh, a of a metal. They come with a metal here. Instead of a rubber jet, it's just all metal. It don't seal good, it leaks. $20, you get what you pay for. So what I tell people, if you do decide to get a Chinese carburetor, take your needle, your float, and put it inside the Chinese carburetor out the factory carburetor. But if you're going to take the stuff out the factory carburetor, you might as well clean it. All right, because these Kawasaki OEM carburetors are around three to five hundred dollars from the factory. So what I'm gonna do now is take this and set it aside. All right, clean this and get them to clean that up. Just clean it with a carburetor cleaner rag. Might have clean it with rag because ain't it bad. And then have me a paper clip. You get a field screwdriver? Yeah, it's on my side. I, I was holding it. Where's it at? Right in front of your head. I haven't. I haven't it. All right, what we're gonna do? We got a Phillips screwdriver. Like I said, this is your this is your uh, top. This is a low speed jet. So what we're gonna do? I grind it down so I can get it through a hole. Just grind down the very tip up. Let me see a paper clip. And what I'm gonna do here, man, because we don't. We've been doing this too long, man. We don't buy jet cleaners anymore because we lose them all the time. I take a uh, good old Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Hell, might even be stolen from the neighbor's house. Who knows? <laughs> uh, no, nah, I'm just joking with you. Take it and grind it down. Let me grind it down real fast. All right, Greg, see if find the gas. Gaskets? do is I go over there to the grinder, grind it down. Every time we do a carburetor, we got to do it because the chances of keeping up with this is about as much as keeping up with a 10 wrench. Then what you want to do is take it, stick it inside the jet. See it? Cheapest homemade jet cleaner there is. You clean it out. Then what I'm going to do is take the high-end jet, excuse me, low-speed jet, stick it in there. You see in there, you can see a low speed jet right in there. I'm gonna just take it. 
Uh, and, and you can tell when it goes through because you can just feel it. It's about like when your bank account goes through on payday, boy. You know it goes through. You know what? You know you're ready to get that paycheck. See, when this thing goes through this jet here, you know it's done. Same thing as that check. And that check goes in that bank. Guess what? You're ready to do. Work next week. Get another one. But all right, man, that's it. We've got that clean there. Now what we're going to do, I would normally take carburetor to clean and spray all this, but really in this carburetor here, there's not really that much. It needs to be clean. Just had a little, it just had a little bit of junk in it. So then we're going to take it and put it back together. And all screwdriver we got, we got a magnetic screwdriver. <laughs> did he, I didn't know we had this. Didn't know we had a magnetic screwdriver. We need it, we need it to be gone. All right, so I'm tightening it back up now. I'm making, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna replace this gasket here. My choke plate gasket is good. This side is the one that's cracked, the choke plate to the carburetor. Then you got a gasket also on your, down here which is on the back side here. That's good. I'm just going to replace the gaskets that broke as they took off, which is only one on this one. But all right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post some more, man.